Oh, hello. Nice to see you. So this is me doing the Symphobia updates, the 1.5 updates. See there? Tiny thing at the corner, 1.5, which has got some new programming stuff. They've sorted a load of RAM issues, loading time issues, um, and there's some new content for Symphobia 2, which we'll look at. It won't take very... I won't keep you long. I won't keep you long. So just to talk about Symphobia 1 first, they've been tweaking the timing of some of the short patches. Uh, here, I have... This is my template here. Uh, and they have the Pitsy, the old school. So, so that's even allowing for my terrible playing. It's kind of loose, and there are times when I like it like that. And I keep it in the template, and I use it all the time. H however, if you want to be precise, I will now switch to this is what you're looking at now. If you saw that not moving, that's because I wasn't playing it. I was playing stuff in VE Pro miles away on the very old version. Uh you hear that? It's kind of bang on now, isn't it? So, good for sharp stuff. They've done the same with, I think, the Spiccatos. Uh, oh, where's it gone? Back. So, they've done some programming stuff. Uh, the the big... I mean, that's, that's a big deal if you're using the shorts, uh, as I do a lot. But the load times are really significant, and it's it's the same between one and two. I'm going to switch to two at this point, though, because let's get rid of that. Uh, no, I don't want to change any changes to instrument. Um, because some of the Symphobia two and the Lumina patches, they did take a long time to load, and they took up a long time, a lot of RAM as well. You probably see it in other walkthroughs that some of the the big patches used to take oh, quite a, quite a while and quite a lot of RAM. Um, not so anymore. So if I just get this going, dragged it in, and boom, we're there. And that used to take a lot longer. And this is the one with everything in it. So that's loading quite a lot of stuff, 218 megabytes, and it was it was there super quick. Um, I should add, when I say RAM, I don't really mean the contact RAM that you can see in the top corner there that says 200 and whatever it is megabytes in this patch. Because all instruments use actually a lot more RAM than that. And if you look in Windows and look in Task Manager, you can see how much things are really using. And these patches use massively less. Uh, in some cases, it's like three or four times less RAM in the real world than they used to use, which is obviously great news. So it's much quicker to load. Um, it all works. I had a little problem with some of my legacy patches when I updated the first Symphobia. That was resolved within about 20 minutes of me mentioning it to Project Sam. Uh, God bless them. Uh, and it's now fixed for everyone. So these, I'd, I'd say this is definitely worth an upgrade just for the loading times uh, and all that. I keep all my old patches. I always save them and I think they bundle it automatically in a, in a backup folder. So you shouldn't lose old stuff. I'm, I'm just paranoid so I do it anyway. And it's great for that. Uh, so what you want to see is the new stuff, really, isn't it? And here we are, the trio ensembles. So these are chord patches uh, that uh, are brand new. They have two variations, sustain and staccato. Uh, we'll start with the brass. So what we have here, we have major, minor, and your sort of flattened fifth variations and what I hope you can hear is that as I'm just switching between them you, they they did the, I've got it here somewhere I, I've got the legato there there we are the legato transition library and when you hear this you think Do you know it just works very well on its own um I'm not using cc1 at the moment so let's on the foot pedal here so that's the range you've got and of course the beauty of the chord patch is you've actually got the unison there and when you hear the difference this what the chord patches do is that it means that you you don't get this massive stacking effect if there are 12 instruments playing there I don't think it's that many, but let's say there are, and you play a triad major, you've now got 36 instruments playing, and it sort of it can sound a bit synthetic. And so you hear the difference between this, stacked, and 
that which is then spread out. So you don't have, you've still got 12 instruments, but they're playing the different notes. There we go. Um, not much else to say about that. Lovely and sharp those, aren't they? Brill. Uh, where are my hair? Let's close this because it's only going to confuse me. Uh, we're here. Uh, so strings, the next one. And this isn't the huge Symphobia string sound here. This sounds like, you'll hear it, it sounds more like we're in intimate territory here. And they do run out. They don't sustain forever. Uh, they just go on quite a while. So here we go. That was bad playing, bad transition, but if you... That sounds pretty natural. And then back down. Much less vibrato. And you can dial it in as you up CC1 here in the corner. Uh, you don't have the strings at the top uh, on this one. Staccato. So that's on key velocity. I'm, my mobiles do nothing there. Pretty normal. Shorts, normally key velocity. Sustains, you want the uh, to control the modulus. And finally, for the new stuff, wind trio chords. And these are great. So you've got a little trick here. Like I said, hold on, let me just... Oh, that's got it. Um, like I said, for a sustain patch, you will want to be using CC1. So... Right the mod wheel there. However, if you hit the key hard, you get a little trill. Which also has its own dynamics. So... That's kind of, that's sort of a new trick, really. Triad trills. I don't think I have anything with triad trills. Um, and they sound great, don't they? So that's not hitting hard. Hit hard. Up they come. And you can give it some expression as well. Don't know about you, but you don't always think about going to a chord patch when you're composing. You just want to get on with it. But you can really hear that it's worth if you've if you're writing stuff that is relatively simple that you can just cope with a major and a minor and a flat and fifth in this case. Then hmm, sounds good. And you do have basic sustain. Up here, so if you want to play a little line, you know, you can do that on the top. Well, that's pretty much it. If you own Symphobia, just download them, download them already. Uh, very quick installer, it all worked seamlessly for me after that legacy hiccup, which is now fixed. Uh, thank you very much. There'll be more sugary goodness before long, no doubt. Uh, and if I don't see you before, do have happy holidays, Christmases, New Year's, Thanksgivings, all that stuff. As I uh, speak from November um, 2015. I'm boring myself. Right, bye.